Hello, welcome back to the channel, Jesse the Hunt Performance. Today we are breaking in a generator. Yeah, we'll go with that. So you may be wondering where I've been. Well, I had a baby. Well, I didn't have a baby. My wife had a baby. And then we we're doing good, but she had to have surgery at four weeks old. But we're all good now. She's almost 17 weeks. And really healthy wonderful but uh yeah and then we were out of town for six weeks and it's just kind of hard to video this kind of stuff when you're not home doing your thing but anyway my wife has a living quarters horse trailer she she likes to run the cans with the horses but the generator's not working so good and so instead of buying a 250 dollars carburetor to fix the generator in the trailer which you know would have been good she decided she wanted a brand new one and i said no but, you know, she bribed me with some frisky favors. And needless to say, we have a new Cummins Onan 45i portable generator inverter that's quiet and stuff. But uh, anyway, we have a new generator, but no frisky favors. So I, I don't know how that works out. She, she bribed me and then left me high and dry. But anyway, we're going to unbox it and break it in and talk about it. Oh, we got the operation instructions. Very important. Some uh, stuff that doesn't deteriorate in the landfill. And a generator. Now let's throw my back out and get this thing out of here. <laughs> well, wait. Here's some accessories Ugh. Ugh. there it is sexy gray and stuff bring it in and show you guys so nothing else in the bottom of the box so you only have really three things you have the little cardboard box you have operation instructions yeah th th this is getting replaced but you gotta wait like six weeks for a new window. It's retarded. And we got the generator with remote start. So uh, like I said, Cummins on 45P, 45I, 4,500 peak watts, 37 running watts, uh, digit, digital inverter generator. Uh, I bet that's where you put the, uh, I obviously do not know how to open that. That's where you put gas in. And then we got the Controlio panel. <laughs> Take a look here. So that does something on off. Oh, it's got an eco mode, you know, so when you want to save the dolphins, gas on and off. Uh, a data center. It's got some USB. Ooh, with a rubber plug, that's nice. Uh, ooh, so you can hook two of them up together. Your little Audi Let's cover and then a a 30 amp plug for your mobile home stuff. Oh, look at that handle. Ooh. Well, isn't that smashy? Look at that. Got your handle, a go handle. You can just push that back in. Uh, oh, hey, look. There's your pull starter. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oil access cover. Okay. That's kind of not in the best spot, but it's not terrible, you know? Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's, I'm going to get in the instructions. Oh, I, I guess I can show you the other side. Battery access cover. Looks like we got to hook up a battery. Well, I'm going to look at the instructions, figure out what I need to do, and then I will come back and tell you about it. So the first thing a guy wants to do is we want to check the battery cables on the battery, and then we want to, you know, attach a coal, the battery to the generator. So that's pretty, both pretty snug. And then they've got this, you know, twisty doohiggy 
thing on here. Get off of there. Anyway, then you you plug those together. So I'll do that. And just like that, you got her together. And then you put the old uh, battery cover back on here. Nice and actually pretty tight. That's, you know, that doesn't just slop together. Okay, and that's what it says for that. Features. Did I miss some assembly? I got safety. Features. Assembly. Hooking up the battery. Operation. Huh. Location. Selection. Dry surface. Hey, altitude operation. Don't worry. You never rest the generator on this panel, it says. Okay. Op, operation, power cord. Transporting. Initial oil fill. Okay. Unclip and remove oil service panel. Clean area around oil plug. Uh, using supplied funnel, slowly add engine oil to the engine. Stop for clean to check level. Void overfilling. Okay, so I'm going to show you where that is basically they give you you know a funnel with threaded end which is kind of nice i'm gonna thread this into the oil dealio back here right here so i'm gonna thread it into that guy right there and i'm gonna put oil in it until i need to stop That'd have been really great if the funnel was like an inch longer. Otherwise, it was great. But uh, I'm gonna put gas in it now. I don't think I need to show you how to put gas in it, but I'm gonna put gas in it. And then, uh, excuse me, they have a whole bunch of stuff about it. showing how to manually set the choke, electric start, all that stuff. But the instructions are actually pretty good. So I really don't need to show you any of that. I think let's just get to Breaking in the engine. In order to break in the engine properly, run the generator with no load for first hour, and then after 25 hours of normal operation, change the oil. So run it for an hour, and then after 25 hours of runtime, uh, you change it. So yeah, we're just gonna let it run an hour. Go grab some gas. So move this out of the way. I got the oil and the gas in it, and this thing's cool because it does have a um, push button start right here. It's got a Yanker dookie over there, but it also has the remote like we talked about. So we're going to go turn the gas on and, uh, oh, battery. Oh, I got to turn the battery on too. Okay. Okay. First crank, no go. It is also like 25 degrees. may need a little more oil we got we're getting the oil light over here flashing it won't run with low oil so let's one more time
So we got a little surgeon. Let's go ahead. So I just turned it off. Turn it back on. It is cold outside, so I'm going to let it run for a minute and see if it gets out of this, and if not, we'll talk about it. Well, well, it decided to work itself out. It's getting smoother and smoother now. Uh, pretty awesome little generator. It started right up. Works good. Uh, the technology on these little generators has increased so much in the last few years, but uh, so far, so good. Has a lot of good reviews, and honestly, I, I, I can see why. It's a super awesome little generator, but... It's a few days later. I'm on top of our hay rack on our horse trailer. Got the old Jenny uh, up here. And I figured we'd do a cold start because I just didn't like the way the video was going to end. I'm sorry, my cinematography was not the best. I did, however, call Cummins and call the local Cummins dealer. And they were pretty helpful with this. Uh, I think we're good now. It's not stuttering as bad. Once it warms up and gets a load on it, it doesn't, it doesn't search, go up and down. So I think just maybe... Need a little time to think. And if not, we'll just get a new one. But anyway, cold start. It's been two days below freezing every night, only about 30 during the day. So we're going to try the electric start. So we'll turn our switch on. I can see that the power's on. I don't know. You guys may be able to see that. And then I'm just going to... There we go running pretty smooth right now so i think we got our issues figured out but uh we're gonna we're headed to arizona for five or so days we're gonna use this to power the trailer we'll see how it goes if it goes bad i'll let you know if it goes good you'll probably never hear about it again but cummins onan 45 it's a p4500i yeah p4500i Inverter generator, 4,500 max watts, 3,700 running watts. So, run your air conditioner in your standard RV. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a... Uh, it's... So it's got a um, low oil sensor on it. So I'm going to check the oil. It's probably just cold, honestly, that, that happens. And uh, once it's warmed up, it'll be fine. But yeah, it's a good thing to have that. See, we got digital digital readout full on fuel no load and then you have a whole menu here you can switch to so there's that light that oil light so i'm gonna check the oil in it because that's not good so let's just reset and So I'm going to check the oil and make sure we're good. It's probably just cold. Well, and I had, no, I had it up, right? Yeah, no, I'm going to check the oil, see what happens. Probably just an oil problem. <laughs> oil is good. Reset the generator, turn the power on and off, unplug the battery, plug it back in, start it. Runs great now. Anyway, I'm Jesse with High Performance. Thanks for watching. And if you're wondering, still no frisky favors. See you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.